And we're back. News Talk 550 KTSA. I'm going to take a couple of calls here. We're talking about the racism from last night. Kirsten Gillibrand uh, going to go talk to white chicks in the suburbs and tell them how messed up in the head they is. And uh, it, it's not even, there's no point even playing it. But then uh, Don Lemon, uh, just like he did the night before, uh, and one of the questions he asked, you know, pretty much uh, threw out there that Trump's racism is a foregone conclusion. I don't, I don't, first off, I don't believe Trump's racism is a foregone conclusion, but the racism of the left is becoming that very, very quickly, man. Here's Steve. Steve, you're on News Talk 550 KTSA now on FM 1071. What are you thinking? Good morning, sir. Thank you for taking my call. Sure, man. That, that, that comment that she made, and of course, Lemon, that shows really how disconnected these people really are from real Americans in real America. Yeah. And, and just as, just as there, there is evil, it does exist, it, it always will, there is racism. Hopefully it doesn't always exist, but if it does, it'll come from the Democrat Party. But they claim systemic racism. The only There's racism, but, but the only systemic racism that exists today is nurtured and born and, and, and growing and thriving in the Democrat Party. And really, if you think about it, the evil that comes from the Dems doing what they are doing every day, the constant drumbeat of racism, uh, that Trump is a racist, when I think many of them, they really, in their hearts and soul, they know he's not a racist. Well, they do, and, and, they, and using, I think perhaps, and I got to I think perhaps they know that deep down in their uh, the cr- crawl spaces of their souls that there is some racism going on there. We got to talk to white people, white women in the suburbs. <laughs> you know, 210-599-5555. Albert, what's going on with you? Hey, how you doing, young fella? Pretty good, I'm man. What are you thinking? Uh, God has blessed me for another day. What I'm thinking is this. Every time you hear a lot of people screaming about racism, it's generally the white folks that's, that's trying to That are screaming it. about racism? Yeah. That, well, see, that's what y'all been doing for the last two or three days. Who, me? I was. I didn't bring it up. Uh, uh, Democrat brought it up. You been, have you ever been discriminated against? Because you were white? Because I was white? Yeah. No, I can honestly say I haven't been. Well, see, that's, that's the problem with this country right well, now. So you, you have to have suffered discrimination to have the conversation? No, you, you have to have suffered discrimination to know discrimination. <laughs> and, uh, if, I, if I see, if somebody comes up to me uh, and says, you know, I hate black people because of blank, blank, blankety, blank, blank. I don't need to have had suffered discrimination to know that that's racism. That's not racism. But, so racism <laughs> is to hate a whole people uh, like for the no Demo- particular reason. Like the Democrats hate white reason. people? You had a reason to hate people. Like the, like, Democrats, like the Democrats hate white people? No, no, Democrats don't hate white people. You oh, come that. on, man. That, that's, that, that, you know that's not oh, true. Oh, come on, Albert. It's a part I'm of their Demo- agenda. I'm a Democrat now. I don't hate white people. That's you. I, that's why I like you. But I'm saying there's a whole lot of folks oh, on the oh, far left oh, that can't oh, shut oh. up about how white people are inherently racist. Black people no, are incapable that. of being racist. I didn't white, say that. Not you, dude. I'm talking about the, the rhetoric we hear coming out of the far left and even the moderate left now. It's all about what? whiteness and whiteness is awful and they're guilty. We use slavery, you know. It's it's well, you know, never that, it's that, unrelenting. See, slavery is something that this country will never get away from. You know, well, we already did that, get away from it. We don't enslave no, we, people now. Uh, no, we have. It, it's a stain on this country, and I'll always be. Man, it's not. It's not a stain. It's it's history. It's over. No, it's a stain, brother. It's uh, history. It's, it's over. We don't enslave people now. But they never lived up to it. They never. What are you uh, talking uh, about? They never lived up to that. You who know, lived? Not, who lived? Who didn't live up to what? Uh, the government of the United States. You know, we we uh, well, they, true we elected true a black that, president, uh, man. Excuse me. We elected a black president twice. It was it was only one guy. Uh, it, it's only, <laughs> you know, see, he, he can't do everything by himself. Uh, oh, so what? When does our government? When is our government not systemically racist? When we hire, uh, we elect, allow another black guy to be elected? No, 
no, no. That's no, what you no. just said, dude. No, the, the, the problem here is it, it, it's a, uh, a serious uh, systemic problem. Racism. In, in, what, in the government? Racism is a, it's a hate a whole group of people whether they did something to you or not. Dude, that's what people are saying about white people now. Oh, well, I, I, I feel you, they are this them. that they are no. this and that whether they have done something to you or not. See, I feel sorry for people that just hate somebody just because of what they look like. I do too. Know, I think it's awful. Yeah, because you know I'm blind, so I, I know you're be running around <laughs> talking about. Uh, uh, I don't want no white people to save me if I'm drowning in the river. I'm going to ask them what color they are. <laughs> oh no, don't save me because save I, my I'm ass. A I don't care what color you are. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go, Albert. It's always a pleasure. Okay, you have a good day. God bless you. God bless you too, man. <laughs> I'm drowning. I don't care what color you are. Could you help me out? 210-599-5555. Uh, I, I tell you what. I'll tell you what. Here's a nice little intellectual exercise you can undertake if, if you're not seeing what I'm say, saying about the whole anti-white thing going on right now. Just take any comment you can Google or look up on YouTube made by any Democrat politician where they're talking about white people and just swap out the word white with black. And if anybody talked that way about black people, how would you respond? We know black people are inherently racist just because they're black. (laughs) Uh, White people can't ever be racist because of their skin color. Black people are always racist because they're black. I mean, if you made such a statement, people would say what? You're either nuts or you're racist or both. But people say that crap about white folks every damn day. Kirsten Gillibrand's going to go talk to the white chicks in the burbs. You know, I'm going to go down to the burbs uh, as a privileged white woman and talk to the white women in the suburbs. I'm going to say, sweetheart, put down the bonbons, Okay. Uh, uh, don't worry about putting the meatloaf in the oven for the old man. Okay, I know he told you to vote for Trump, but you need to know something about white privilege. I mean, if that's not freaking racism, I don't know what is.